Hi guys, um, it's Christine and I thought that I would just take a few moments to do a flip through of my uh, newest uh, planner. This is the half letter disc bound planner that I customized and put together um, myself using inserts mostly from cloth and paper. Um, so I'm going to go through that quickly. Um, but let me just start with this amazing cover. Um, which is uh, by Notique brand. Um, yeah, this color is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's like a, I don't know, like a dusty rose, lavenderish type, a little beige. Um, absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, I have to say, um, it, it's vegan leather. And, um, you know, <laughs> to be honest, wh whenever I hear somebody use the phrase vegan leather, I, ha I have to chuckle a little bit. And immediately my thought is, uh, oh, you mean plastic? Um, yeah, I know. Um, a bit of a snob, uh, a snobbish kind of response. Um, but this is beautiful. And, um, you know, it is a little bit pricey, but the quality is just unbelievable. So... Notique brand, check them out. An amazing um, black owned female business. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome quality. Um, so yeah, so this is the inside of my um, planner. Um, on this side, just some pockets here and a notepad that came with the, um, with the Notique um, folio cover. Um, just a couple of stickers from tattoo shops. Um, you know, you know me, you know, I love tattoos. Um, the beautiful handwritten note, um, from the founder of Notique, BJ, uh, when I placed this order. I mean, how amazing is that? And, um, yeah, you, you can't forget the uh, awesome magnetic clips from Ollie Block. I mean, this is the jumbo. Um, it's huge, but these clips are like life right now. They're gorgeous. Um, so yeah, so I am, um, you know, really happy with this. Um, so this is the planner itself. So again, I bought everything separately. The rings um, I purchased from Amazon. Um, all the inserts, most of the inserts are from cloth and paper that I've just accumulated over the last month or so and, uh, you know, slowly put together myself. Um, this cover is the sort of balance wellness cover uh, that came in October's, um, in the cloth and paper October's uh, subscription box. Um, absolutely love it. It's a harder plastic, so I decided to just go ahead and use the as the cover for my planner since, you know, I have the folio that, that truly does protect it. Um, and on the cover, I have a couple of, of the journaling cards. Um, as an English teacher, this one is one of my favorites. The purpose of the first draft is not to get it right, but to get, writ get it written. And I actually use this quote with my students. Um, I teach seniors at a high school in New York City, um, so I definitely use this quote with them. Um, this is another uh, amazing quote on a journaling card that uh, came with the October subscription box from Cloth and Paper. Make it simple, but significant, very important. Again, some more Ollie block clips here. Again, these clips are life. Please check them out. Um, I have to thank Plan with Lore as uh, Lauren was the one who recommended these clips and uh, yeah, they're amazing. Um, this is another cloth and paper October sub box um, um, exclusive, uh, although I'm sure it's going to be coming to the shop sometime soon. It's a, um, it's a paper dashboard, uh, but it has one of my favorite sayings, old ways won't open new doors. Um, you know, if you know me, you know that I'm in recovery. Um, so as a, a person who suffered from addiction and alcoholism, um, you know, this this 
quote here is uh, really significant significant for me uh, in, in my journey of recovery. So I appreciate it. Um, here's another card that came with the October sub box. May your streets be paved with gold. Love it. Um, this divider page here is, um, I actually bought it from Amazon. Um, it's a half letter uh, size for the disc bound planners. And um, yeah, it came in a pack of two. And this is perfect for holding my um, sticky notes from cloth and paper. These are absolutely just gorgeous, stunning. The colors are just amazing. The quality, absolutely beautiful. And in the back too, these are some of the transparent um, sticky notes that I am dead ass obsessed with, like I have to say. Um, I use it with my microderm pen and I, and I have to tell you my microperm pen, sorry. And I have to tell you that um, as a grad student, um, these sticky notes are life. Um, I think I, I just placed a new order where I ordered um, a ton of them and the uh, flag pages too. Um, this is a vellum um, dashboard from Cloth and Paper. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, I love their simplicity. I love their, um, you know, just absolutely stunning and, um, you know, just adds so much, um, you know, to, to your, your planning system, whatever system you choose. Um, I got these, <coughs> excuse me, I just got these from an order this past week. From cloth and paper it's um uh just like these little um inserts they're they're half page and uh, you know i'm using them or i'm going to use them for a little to-do list that i can add um, throughout my planner as needed um just for a moment let me just talk about these awesome dividers from cloth and paper um these dividers are the ceo dividers um, and it comes in the pack with all of these and they are definitely a durable plastic, um, you know, very, very durable. Um, so there's one for schedule, for lists, for priorities, for finances, for goals and um, ideas. And then finally uh, a miscellaneous one. Um, so this planner is primarily for uh, work. And again, I'm a high school teacher and also a grad student at Teachers College um, at Columbia. So um, it, it's really, this planner is is for, uh, for those two areas of my life here. So um, as far as the actual planner goes, um, I have the undated vertical inserts from Cloth and Paper, which I absolutely love. Um, I just simply use it to write down my schedule of classes that I teach each day, whether it's remote or whether it is um, a blended class that I'm meeting in the building. Also to schedule some other of my um, teacher's college stuff. Um, on the weekends, I just, on Saturdays, it's some family stuff that I plan. And on Sundays, I'm usually doing work. Uh, for school or for grad school. Um, so I kind of write that down. Um, I try to color coordinate it a little bit with some of my um, mild liners, highlighters, and I used the, I believe these are the mink um, transparent dots, just to indicate the days of the week that I'm actually in the building uh, teaching as opposed, as opposed to at home remote. Um, and I love how there's for every week, a little uh, section here for priorities and, um, you know, a little blank spot here that I just kind of put an inspirational sticker there, um, you know, something just for me to, to look at and to reflect during the week. Sort of the same thing here, you know, and, and moving forward. Okay, this is the end of this week. Vote, very important. I went today. It's raining out, but it was worth it. 
and uh, so I'm all set up for next week. And um, so this is an example. I used one of those little half page um, to do tasks uh, lists here and just wrote down things that, you know what, I have to get through this week. Um, between working on a research paper for my uh, my grad school class and um, grading um, essays for, for the senior classes I teach, you know, I, I just have to have a quick reference here so I, I kind of know what I'm um, what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, so I have that here. And uh, again, these are undated, so you can go ahead and uh, date them as needed. Um, then here, I just got this this week. This is the um, the clear um, inbox divider. Um, again, a very hard, durable plastic. Um, I, I know that you can use uh, sort of the um, the wet dry erase markers on here, but since I have a black background here, um, it doesn't really make sense. You're not going to be able to see much of it, so I decided that this would be a great spot for me to put some of my um, my uh, awesome cloth and paper um, post-it notes or the the sticky notes. Um, this is one of the transparent sticky notes that I am absolutely just in love with. The quality is just amazing. And uh, yeah, um, just keep down uh, some inspirational quotes and also just um, list for reading. Um, so this here is just a regular top divider. I love the top dividers and I bought a, a pack that has several of them. Uh, this is the only one I'm using so far. And I'm using it to divide those weekly um, vertical undated with my... Uh, dailies that I have here. Now, quite honestly, I haven't used the dailies all that often. On days where I am particularly busy, I feel like I need to maybe fill out a daily sheet just to kind of keep myself grounded, keep myself focused. And um, yeah, I, I love the layout of these daily sheets. Um, you know, the schedule here, priorities, to-do list, um, you know, the, the middle section with notes, I'm not quite sure how to utilize that yet. So I'm, I'm kind of just thinking about it for now. Um, so yeah, just another example. And uh, so I have a bunch of these and again, they're blank and they're undated. So um, definitely good to have for, um, you know, on days that are a bit heavier, days that I have uh, a lot more to do. As we move to the next section, um, this is a cute little, vellum um, dashboard from I believe it's planner press um, coffee is my life Starbucks is my life I love this um, you know I'm, I, I have to say though I'm slightly disappointed in how thin it is as it's already starting to like tear a little bit and um, eh, a little eh about that um, but it's a beautiful dashboard so I have to be a little bit more gentle with it um, Moving on to lists, I'm not really going to go through this one. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Um, again, just, um, you know, lists of to-dos. Now, quite honestly, again, I'm not going to go through here because I have lists of student names and contacts and uh, names of uh, students whose homes I've called and um, had to make some uh, uh, notes about and, and keep sort of an anecdotal log here. Um, so that's what I'm primarily using this for right now, um, especially since now I have those those tiny, those small half pages that can do my to-do list. Um, I can save these really more for, for my student contact information and, and so forth. Um, but just to show you the blank ones, how it looks like. Again, pretty nice size tab on top, and you have plenty of spaces, 28 lines, to kind of um, get done what you need to do here. Um, so moving on from that, we have uh, probably my favorite dashboard uh, from Cloth and Paper. Um, I've, I know I've taken pictures of this and posted it on my stories and also um, in my Instagram prof um, page itself. Um, but again, this is this is just so um, so me. <laughs> um, 
a great reminder. Uh, people romanticize their plans but dread the execution. The magic you're looking for is the work you're avoiding. And quite honestly, I am avoiding that work right now as I'm doing this little walkthrough with you instead of doing uh, <laughs> some schoolwork that I should be doing. Um, priorities. Um, so I use this for um, uh, for some workshops that I attend through Teachers College, and um, you know, so these are notes from a, a great um, lecture uh, intensive series that I attended last week with uh, my faculty advisor, Dr. U Dr. Yolanda Celie Cruz, uh, Celie Ruiz, um, sorry, and also um, uh, Dr. Angel Lacosta on the archaeology of the self and. Um, these are the Cornell style notes from cloth and paper. Absolutely love it. Those of you who love Cornell notes, uh, you know, and if you know, you know. Um, so yeah, um, the Cornell notes are, are really organized well. Um, so I, I purchased a couple of packs of, of these um, for that. And um, the next one section is finances. Um, still figuring this one out. I did purchase the financial bundle from Cloth and Paper. Um, honestly, I, I was using a um, plum paper planner that I purchased a few months back from as a budget planner. And um, it, I don't know, it just didn't work for me. I, I don't reach for it at all. So. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to see if maybe this budgeting plan is, is will work for me. Um, and since today is November 1st, um, maybe I should take some time and kind of fill out a few things. I mean, I started filling out some things, not a whole lot, just some, you know, subscriptions and monthly bills. And yeah, maybe it's time I start actually figuring out a budget <laughs> and so forth um you know there's a, a savings tracker here and uh yeah you know so again a pretty cute um little setup by cloth and paper and i'm hoping to make it a little bit more functional so we'll see how that goes um this is a digital declutter um dashboard that um, came with the October sub box from Cloth and Paper and I love this because I definitely need to declutter all my digital stuff. Um, you know, things to do daily, things to do weekly, monthly, quarterly, and then annually. Like do delete those unused accounts, change those passwords, um, you know, daily, um, you know, take breaks from social media and stuff. Uh, disable push notifications. I have been doing that. <laughs> um, goals and ideas. Uh, for now, I'm just using this, um, again, with my Cornell notes. Um, for uh, other workshops that I attend um, through Teachers College, um, a weekly um, coffee break run by the English Ed Program uh, Department at Teachers College, and I just kind of write down my notes for for that. Um, and uh, these are just, you know, some blank memo notes. Uh, this is the packet or the variety pack from Cloth and Paper that comes with blank. It comes with um, grid. It comes with, I believe, dot grid as well. Yep, here are the dot grid ones. So, you know, just some um, memos. It's always good to have some blank um, papers, blank pages. Um, another great dashboard from Cloth and Paper. I am the architect of the days that haven't happened yet. Love this one. And under miscellaneous, I put down, and I cannot wait to use this, um, also from the October sub box. Uh, we got these awesome um, reading logs sheets that came in. And as an English teacher and as a grad student, I appreciate this. Um, I definitely want to utilize it. And there are quite a few of them that came with the, uh, with the bundle. Um, I know that if this um, does go for sale in, in the shop, um, 
I will definitely be uh, buying more of it. And then at the end, I have um, another one of those little divider folders that I use, um, you know, that I purchased uh, the two pack from Amazon. These are just some of the, um, the dots that I use, the, the mink dots and uh, just different color ones. These are the avant-garde dots here. And you know, these little pockets are convenient to just sort of keep everything in. Um, what I really love about this particular planning system is that I don't have to worry about stickers too much. I'm really trying to keep this one professional and simple, um, you know, for work and for grad school, just to kind of um, meet the needs um, that I have um, and, the, and the needs that I'm using it for. And uh, yeah, and this is the end pen loop here. Another amazing clip from um, Ollie Block. Okay, the magnetic clip here. And that is it. That is my entire little disc bound planning system here um, from cloth and paper. And again, the rings are from Amazon. The um, cover is from Notique brand. And yeah, thank you so much.